Hey, what's going on, everyone? If you're looking for players to add in fantasy basketball, you're in the right place. I'm Waver Wire Queen. Hit that subscribe button for more on fantasy sports. And let's jump right into it. These players should be added to your roster if you're struggling with injuries, looking for players to come off your bench and just help your team as you make that push through the playoffs. Okay, let's 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 get to it. Let's let's do it. Okay, first player you should add is Thomas Sadoransky. I mentioned him last week, and his his uh he's being rostered a little bit a little bit higher than than last week, but to my surprise. Not enough. He's only rostered in 22% of Yahoo leagues. He is officially the starting point guard of the Chicago Bulls. And I believe it's going to remain that way for the rest of the season, barring any injuries. So why not pick up a starting point guard? I'm not saying he's going to be your main guy, but he can be a guy in both um, head to head points based leagues and categories based leagues. So for instance, um, if you're in a head-to-head -head league based on points, he's he's his average is going up from 17 fantasy points um, to about 18, 19 fantasy points per game. So that is an increase. If you are struggling with players like um, you have John Ball, who's been in and out of the lineup, um, Bradley Bill is out right now. He can come in. He's not going to give you what Bradley Bill's giving you. If you find somebody on the wire who's doing that, please let me know. You're not going to find that, but. 18 between 18 and 20 points that's going to help you when you have one of your top dogs injured you're not going to find that type of production but you have to still find some production and that's solid he's going to give you uh points rebounds and assists so head to head total points 18 to 20 points that's not bad right now his average is going up to the 18 mark um categories basically look for him for um assists and rebounds He's a solid player and he's going to start the remainder of the season and you are looking for guys to help you secure that slot in the playoffs. He's either going to be solid coming off the bench as a spot starter for the remainder of the season or hell, if, if you, you have players injured, he may be the guy that's in there starting. And if he's, he's getting averaging 18 to 20 fantasy points chances are there's some nights he's going to give you 25 and that's not bad for for bringing him in off the wire go on and pick him up guys all right another player and this is a uh, this player terrence Mann from the um the clippers this is a short-term uh solution for you this is not long term this is a guy you gotta you just take advantage right now and when he um he, he, he stops playing as much as he's been playing and he's not producing, then you you drop him. So short-term help, deep leagues, deep leagues, because if you're in one of those 12, 14, 16, chances are these are the type of players you're going to be looking to add. So um, Terrence Mann, add him. He's only rostered in 11% of Yahoo leagues. That, over the last week, he averaged 28 fantasy points. Um, he's going to give you points and rebounds so in the categories basically if you're just solely looking for rebounds from a forward and and it's a deep league he's definitely the way to go um points he's going to give you points too as well so if you're in a head-to-head -head points based league right now he's going to give you at least 20 fantasy points which is solid because he's getting the minutes he's actually playing well enough for them to keep him in in their rotation. So I don't see why you wouldn't continue to use his services until, like I said, Lou is like, okay, we're good. You're not in a rotation anymore. I think he's going to be in a rotation for the remainder of the season because, you know, they tend to rest their guys, injuries, a lot of things going on. So I, I feel like he's still a solid player, but this is in deep league. Deep leagues. If you're in a league where it's only like eight to 10 teams, there are some great options, greater options out there and you won't get to a player like this. But if you're in the deep league, he's definitely the way to go. So prioritize him, especially if some of these other guys are not available. He's he's solid. He's a solid ad short term, though. All right. Let's move right along. Let's go to um, OKC. We're going, we got two players from OKC. You can add in your leagues, whether it's a, um, a deep league or um, just standard um, 12, I don't consider 12 teams deep. 
depending on how the roster is 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 is, is set up. So if you're in a 12 man league and and you know you don't have like 10 players, you're not required to start 10 players. Then the, these these guys are um are solid. All right, Theo Malatone. I hope I'm I'm pronouncing his name right. It is what it is. Y'all know Wayboy Queen be hacking some names up. He's only rostered in 28% of Yahoo leagues. He's he's averaging at least 25 to 30 minutes a game. They're, uh, they've embraced the youth movement out there. So I don't see why you wouldn't uh, play him. Definitely a side player coming off the bench. I, I believe he's going to stay within at 25 to 30 minutes per game for the remainder of the season. Um, his average fantasy points is 15.6 last week he was averaging 29 fantasy points so he's a solid he's a solid ad um he's been playing well he's getting the minutes he's gonna give you points so him i would see him strictly um points basically head-to-head points definitely in deep leagues because if you're in a deep league, it is, you know, that you're combing the wire, you're looking through like, damn, I don't know where to go. And you see him and you're like, oh, I'm going to go that way. You use him until he, 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 he stops producing. Like I said, he's probably going to continue to see the, the 25 to 30 minute mark for the remainder of the season. He's playing well. As long as he's playing well, he's going to get the time. 28% owned. So that means, guess what? There is a, a, a huge chance for you to be able to add him. And the thing is, so many injuries out there, so many players just in and out of the lineup that you have to, 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 to pick up the best available player for your team. So if you are in a head-to-head points-based league and you're looking to add someone who's probably going to give you some points and, and it's going to be for the remainder of the season. If nothing else, he's definitely solid to come in off of your bench and spot start. He's not going to be one of your main guys because your main guys, you're going to obviously start them, start them all the time. But if you have players like Bill who's out right now, AD is out, LeBron is out. You got to be realistic about what type of production you're looking for off of the wire you're not going to find someone on the wire who's going to give you Bradley Bill type production or LeBron type production it's just unrealistic but you can find someone who can help you and you'll be all right you'll you'll um, keep on hanging in there because the goal is to still try to find players who will produce and help you win weekly so you can get into the playoffs So check him out. Another player from OKC. I'm going to hack up his name, y'all. So just bear with me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Alec G. I'm not even going to do it. Alec G. Pokuzvitsky. I hope I pronounced it right. I'm sure you guys will know what I'm I'm talking about. Check out his name right there. Um, He's rostering 30% of leagues. He's playing consistent 30 minutes a game. He just missed a few games. He's back. Total average of fantasy points, 15.99, but that's obviously going up because he's getting more playing time and he's, he's get his, his minutes and his production is increasing. He's going to give you points and rebounds. He is solid to me in, in categories, basically, and um, head-to-head points. He's solid in both because he's going to give you points and rebounds. If you're looking for uh, specifically rebounds and categories, basically, because you're struggling there, then guess what? Go on and pick him up. Add him. It, he's a solid ad. Uh, OKC has embraced, embraced the youth movement, and he is definitely a solid player to add the youth movement because guess what? He's going to give you the points. He's available. And right now, as I said, you're going to want to add players who can give you points. You're not going to get the 40 points that, say, Bradley Bill is giving. But if you can get somebody who can give you 25 to 30 points, that's going to help you. And when you're in a head-to-head Points basically, guess what? It's about the points. I don't care if it's 15, 20 points. You need points. It hurts when you lose by 20 points and you had someone on a wire you could have picked up who who's, who dropped 20, 25 points. So you got to have that mindset and you got to already know that I'm not going to find anyone who's giving who was giving me Bradley Bill's uh, statistics. But I can find someone who is who's giving me half or a, a little bit above 
above the halfway mark to help me secure points because in a points-based league, it's about the points. Categories, he's going to give you rebounds, rebounds, rebounds. So if that's what you're specifically looking for and you can't find anyone, it's a deep league, you can't find your top dog, go on and add him. Why not? Another player to add, Philly Milton. From Philadelphia, Milton. Sixers, Milton. Go on and add him. He's rostered in 31% of Yahoo leagues. He's averaging 19 to 20 fantasy of points per game. And he's consistently seeing 25, between 25 to 27 minutes per game. He's a solid add. Deep leagues. If you're in one, a, a, a league that's eight to 10, these players are not going to be the guys that you add because you're probably going to see players that people like me don't get to see because I'm in these deep leagues and it's not going to see certain type of players out there. So for a deep league, he's a solid ad and he's going to give you in the head to head points based league or points points based league period. He's going to at least give you between um, 18 and 20 fantasy points and that is all you can really ask for on the wire, unless you just happen to find somebody that's just like, you're like, wow, I can't even believe this guy's out there, but you're not going to find that too often. So like if uh, Moses Brown is still out there, you're like, wow, this is a, a miracle. He's probably not out there in your league because he's not in any of mine. So you're not looking for that. You're not checking for him because he's gone. But something, someone like Milton can come in and give you between 18 to 20 20 points definitely in in between that with 19 so that that's all you really can ask for and and expect you can't work the wire expecting 40 to 40 30 to 40 points it's, that's not realistic you have to go in there and, and just be realistic especially if you're looking for to replace uh, production on a level of bill wall ad lebron you're not going to find that but you, you will be able to find a player who's going to at least give you between 18 to 23 points. And that's solid considering how deep we are in the season and for what you're trying to do. Because guess what? You're trying to secure playoff berth. You're trying to get into the playoffs and you're trying to win. You can't have the mindset, well, oh, Braun is hurt. I'm just going to wait it out. No, you got to continue to work the wire. Maybe even consider some trades. You got to do what you got to do out here in these uh, sports streets. You can't sit back. You got to make the moves. Trades, work the wire. Check out this cool video on some players to try to trade for. Buy low. Value is, is, is solid. And they'll help you for the remainder of the season. And also just be realistic about what you're doing. Before you hop on the wire and try to pick someone up, Think about what your goal is and what you're trying to do and why are you trying to add a specific player? If it's just points, hell, go with the person you see who's consistently scoring the most points on the wire and they are playing consistent minutes. If you're in a categories base and there's a certain category that you are lacking in, then you need to look at those players, identify them and say, okay, well, this person is consistently seeing these minutes and I'm looking at rebounds. So guess what? I need to add this player because he is consistently getting the rebounds that I am lacking in. That's how you got to do it. Just don't jump and just add a player. You got to add the player that is going to work best for your team. All right, y'all. Hit that subscribe button and follow Wave of Wire Queen for more on fantasy basketball.